this is one of the most upmarket areas of London, Grover Street in Mayfair. And today, the squatters and homeless people that have been living in this building are going to be evicted. So I'm going to meet them before they are. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm Catherine. I'm, I'm Robert. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah. You're being yeah. kicked out today? Yes, once again. Once again? Once again, yes. Picked out before? Yeah, we've picked out a few buildings lately, like, yeah. We're trying to highlight the fact that all these empty buildings when there's so many homeless people on the street in London. So this, obviously, this is not your property, not your no, home? No, it's not our home, it's not our property. And um, this is somewhere where we were lucky enough to find, like, the door open. Or the window. I can't. I can't remember who like got in here, but we someone, have. But someone broke it. it. Well, no, the, it was left open, so it's, it was just like occupied. Why do you think that you have a right to live in someone else's property? I don't think we have a right to live in anybody's property at all. We don't feel that. We're just people trying to survive. But this isn't your property. No, it's not our property, no. And we do like obviously it's not ideal, maybe for the owner. But maybe if there any owner could who could have a little bit of compassion and maybe provide us with an empty building where we could help everybody that we could help, you know, get off the streets. Have you left it in a decent state? Yes, it's in a decent state, yeah. The front, I mean, well, the here's place, a little bit messy at the even, moment, even but we'll clean it up. Because we're pulling all our because we thought we were getting evicted, all our staff's been yeah. pulled to the front, but so we it's do, all trolleys, blah, blah, blah. We leave it how we found it. We don't come in here to wreck buildings. I mean, even the police said there's other day need a roof. up there that goes, we've been following you for months, we know you don't wreck yeah. buildings and we know you don't do this and do that because that's not what we do. We just want to live in somewhere and then when we get told to go, we go, you know? Do you think it's fair enough though? Because other people buy houses, pay rent. Yeah. They don't, they don't I know just that. take other people's. If we, were, if we were in the position to do that, by all means, my love, we would do that. But we're not. We're not in the position to do that. We are a bunch of vulnerable people who've got no money. We're trying we to survive. This, we, it's know? not like the ideal we lifestyle. Every two weeks. We enjoy it's it. just we're trying to stick together, look after each other the best way that we can, feed ourselves and basically have a roof. That's all we ask for. Can you take your mask off? I can't. <laughs> why are you here? Me, I'm a squatter. But why are you a squatter? Because I have no parents, I've got no friends, I've got no... These are my family, I've got nobody else. I'm saying we're taking the young people off the streets. I'm 17 years of age. You're 17? What could he be doing? At 17, I came down to London, I end up on stupid stuff, you know? End up in a really bad way, you know? And I see him where I was, and like, come on, man, come with us and we try and put him the right way. Where are you going to live after today? Um, are you I all going to go together? Yeah, we're a family, so we always stick together. Where are so, you going to go? Right now, yet. I don't know. I'm not too sure yet. Maybe the know. streets, or maybe the streets. 17 years of age on the streets. It's not good, man. Mm -hmm.